In this video, we're going to look at a study recently published that shed light on what soy foods do to the body. We'll uncover the surprising truth and learn more about these latest findings. Stay tuned till the end where we discuss the two soy foods that can potentially increase the risk of disease. Dr. Neetu Bajakal, a senior consultant, obstetrician and gynaecologist here in the UK, has urged everyone, but in particular young people, to incorporate large amounts of soy into their diet in order to try and prevent various types of cancers. Soy foods have been at the centre of controversy amongst the online health community. However, Dr. Bajakal says it has fibre, protein, lots of micronutrients and also has plant estrogens. These smart beans can then block the excess mammalian estrogens coming from our body fat, dairy and red meat. They promote bone growth, reduce your risk of osteoporosis, lessen hot flashes, aid weight loss and protect the heart. And it's thought that this blocking effect is why soy can significantly lower the risk of aggressive prostate cancer and many other cancers. Those who consumed soy earlier in childhood were found to have a 58% lower risk of breast cancer, and those in adolescence and early adulthood had roughly a 25% reduction. But she went on to say, quote, It also reduces colon, ovarian, womb, breast and liver cancer due to its ability to inhibit the development of vessels that fuel cancers. And it was this last statement that really blew me away. And I think one of the studies Dr. Bajakal may have been referring to was this recent study published in April 2024, where researchers aimed to systematically review the relationship between various soy products and the risk of cancer through a dose-response meta-analysis. A sample of 28 studies with over 500,000 participants was used to assess the association between the total consumption of soy products and the risk of cancer. High soy product intake correlated with a 31% reduced risk of cancer. Notable risk reductions were observed in gynaecological cancers, including ovarian cancers, as well as cancers affecting the gastrointestinal and upper aerodigestive tract, prostate and lungs. High tofu intake significantly reduced cancer risk by 22%, with consistent effects observed in both males and females. Consumption of tofu correlated with lower risks of gynaecological and gastrointestinal cancers, particularly those affecting the stomach, breast, ovaries and endometrium. Overall, high soy milk intake was associated with a 25% reduced risk of cancer, and in particular, gastrointestinal, upper aerodigestive and ovarian cancers. Interestingly, increased intake of fermented products in China was associated with a greater cancer risk. There's also another soy product that's been found to increase cancer risk at certain amounts, so make sure to watch this video next.